This is part 153 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss menu control in ASP.NET. We'll be using the layout of the master page that we discussed in part 147. So please watch part 147 from the ASP.NET tutorial before proceeding with this video. As the name speaks for itself, menu control in ASP.NET is used to display a menu in an ASP.NET web application. Let's understand using this menu control with an example. First, let's copy the layout of the master page. And let's flip to Visual Studio. And instead of this content placeholder, let's actually paste the copied HTML. And if we flip this to the design mode, notice that this is the same layout that we discussed in part 147. I'm not going to get into the details of this HTML. We discussed that in detail in part 147. Now, if you notice Solution Explorer here, we've got several content pages. So how did I get these content pages? I have simply right clicked on the master page and select this option add content page and once the content page is added I've changed the names accordingly and if you're wondering why do I have so many content pages that's basically to support a menu that looks like this so for example when I click on employee menu item we want to navigate the user to employee.aspx page that's the reason I have so many pages here alright now first let's design our menu control so that it looks like this okay so let's get rid of this text altogether now if you notice this text this is present inside an h3 tag so let's flip this master page to the source mode and get rid of this h3 tag from there and now let's drag and drop menu control so notice that the menu control is actually present under the navigation tab let's double click that so here we have the menu control now a menu contain items what items does it contain? It contains menu items. And this menu item has got several attributes. Okay, so we're going to use text attribute. So basically we want the text to be home. So first we want to display this text home. And value is also going to be, for now, home. And navigate URL. So obviously when we click on this menu item home, where do we want the user to redirect to? We want the user to go to home.aspx page. Okay, so if we flip this to the design mode, notice that we have that home menu item. In a similar fashion, we want employee menu item. And under employee, we are going to have these three menu items, upload resume, edit resume, and view resume. So let's include another menu item so here the text is going to be employee and value is also going to be employee and we want the user to navigate to employee.aspx and under employee menu item we want upload resume edit resume view resume so let's copy this menu item once again and paste that inside this menu item. Look at this, a menu item can contain another menu, menu item. And that's how we get that hierarchy. So under employee, we want you know upload resume, edit resume, and view resume. So here the text is going to be something like upload resume. Value is also going to be upload resume and navigate URL is going to be upload resume.aspx. So let's copy this and paste it here. Look at that, this menu item is also present inside employee menu item, which means next we are going to have edit resume menu item. So this edit resume menu item is going to be underneath employee menu item. So here it's going to be edit resume and navigate URL is going to be edit resume. So we have upload resume and edit resume pages. All right, now let's flip this to the design mode and notice that we have employee and there's a little arrow there. So when we actually navigate to home page, let's open up home page and run this by pressing control F5. So basically all the pages in the application are using site.master master page. Look at that, we have home, 
employee and as soon as I hover my mouse over employee look at the menu items underneath employee are automatically popped out okay now when I hover my mouse away they go away now if I click on employee menu item look at that we are redirected to employee.aspx page in a similar fashion when we click edit resume look at that we are there on edit resume.aspx now let's go ahead and actually get the menu items for employer and admin as well and to speed things up I have already typed that HTML so let's copy this and paste it in our master page basically this you know it's the same HTML that we have just seen so let's paste it right here and if you flip this to the design mode look at that em home employee employer and admin and let's actually run this once more so that we can see all the menu items in action look at that I have employer I have admin so add user we go to add user.aspx alright now by default if you look at this menu control you know it's actually present in vertical orientation but if you want it in horizontal orientation so something like this then how do we achieve that simply set this orientation attribute change that to horizontal if you don't specify the orientation the default is going to be vertical so if you look at our menu control on the master page at the moment we didn't specify any properties for the menu control let's actually format this HTML by selecting the entire HTML and pressing control K and D so a menu control contains items let's minimize the items look at this we only have ID and run at attributes and we didn't specify orientation so by default it's going to be vertical orientation but let's change the orientation to horizontal and let's run this once more so this is vertical orientation let's see how horizontal because of you know we don't have enough space that's why it doesn't show up properly here so let's do this let's actually move that menu control into the header so after the h1 tag here let's paste it right there and let's run it uh, we are on the master page and we have run the project that's why we are getting this page um, let's be on the home page and then press control F5 so that we are redirected to home page now look at that home employee employer and admin so this is horizontal orientation alright so let's actually put it back to where it was and let's reload this so it's present here but let's change the orientation let's get rid of that orientation attribute altogether so we should get the default orientation which is um, vertical alright now by default static display levels property is set to 1 this means only the first level is statically displayed so if you notice uh, at the moment this menu control that we are using you know we have defined only two levels that is you know this is the first level root level and then once I select you know hover my mouse over employee we have another level that's it we don't have any other level beyond that okay and by default the static display levels property is set to one meaning display only the top level okay but for some reason if you want the menu control to appear like this you want to expand or statically display all you know basically both the levels of the menu item then you would set that um, static display levels to 2 so let's actually set that and see it in action so static display levels equals 2 and if we flip this to the design mode you can see that here itself okay so let's save these changes and let's refresh our vendor notice that we have all the links there now since we don't have another level we don't have that little arrow but let's include another level maybe under upload resume and see if we get that little arrow there 
So here we have upload resume menu item. A menu item can contain another menu item. So let's actually copy the menu item here and paste that inside upload resume menu item. And let's say this is XXX. All right. Now, let's flip this to the design mode. Look at, look at that. Upload resume has already got that little arrow. So let's save it. And let's refresh this. And look at this. When my mouse, my, you know, hover my mouse over upload resume, we get that popped out. And obviously, we don't have xxx.aspx page. That's why we would, we would get a crash. All right. So that's a static display levels property. And there's another interesting property, disappear after. So to control the amount of time it takes for the dynamically displayed portion of the menu to disappear, then use disappear after. So basically, if you look at, let's actually navigate to home.aspx. So at the moment, notice that when I move my mouse over, you know, it stays for a little, little time. That's basically the default value for this property disappear after is 500 milliseconds if we don't specify it but for some reason if you want that menu item to be there for let's say two seconds then you would specify that as 2000 milliseconds so let's actually come here and then specify let's actually get rid of the static display levels and specify disappear after to maybe 2,000 milliseconds, meaning the menu item, the dynamically displayed portion of the menu item is going to stay there for two seconds once it is displayed. And after two seconds, it's going to disappear. Look at that, it's there. Now I move my mouse away. Look at that, it's there for two seconds and then it disappears. So depending on your project requirement, you can set that attribute. In our next video, we'll discuss using styles with this menu control so that it is displayed properly. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.